beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-May right through to mid-June 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for credit card details, and I'll never ask you for your personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. my beautiful Gemini this is the singles love reading so if you're looking for a reading that's not to do with love I will be doing a career reading in the next couple of days for your sign as well as a what do your guides want you to know reading as well uh, but this is a singles love reading so let's see what's going on there for you thank you so much spirit guides guardian angels can you please guide my beautiful Gemini what do they need to know regarding their singles love situation can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to see we've got number 11 the whip thank you so much spirit guides guardian angels can you please guide my beautiful Gemini. Now just to let you know, I'm going to get all of your cards first before I um, do your reading. Um, now you should be feeling the influence from that um, new moon eclipse in Taurus, which is all about value. So uh, that is what you're calling in right now, a relationship um, that values you as much as you value yourself. Okay. Um, so you've got, I mean, you've got some love coming on in here for you um, with the, the whip and uh, that basically means the whip is all about restraining yourself or feeling um, really contained or you've got restrictions in your world right now. So you may have felt um, that uh, there's been difficulty for you to sort of meet somebody new. Um, we got the temperance card. So yeah, a lot of patience going on for you. Uh, but there is love on the horizon there. You've got the two hearts, which basically mean love, of course. Um, when you reduce it, two plus uh, four is six, uh, which is the number of love. Um, Oh, they want me to go one more. There is a the full card there indicates that there is a leap of faith required. There's a new start, and we've got the world. I mean, two of those cards is like you've got a new start on the horizon, and you meet your destination point, um, the thing or the, the meeting the person that you set out to in the first place. The world card is about being in the right place at the right time. So let me just uh, see who is coming towards you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Uh, we've got the alien. So that is the hermit energy, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you please guide? This is a beautiful uh, deck here by um, David DeAngelis, and it is the Star Man Tarot. Um, we've also got the High Priestess, the Devil card, okay? Um, we've got the Two of Pentacles. Uh, we've got the Six of Cups, we have the Five of Cups, and we've got the Five of Pentacles. Uh, they want one more, so I will give it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Now, because we got the World card there, and we've also got um, the Six of Cups, this indicates a cycle that has been on repeat for you for a while, uh, keeps coming into your energetic sphere, and you're closing it down. You're ending a cycle. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guide. Ooh. Now, I have to say um, that Mercury is in retrograde on the 10th of May or from the 10th of May. So um, it'll uh, that sort of period tends to mean people from your past reach out. Now, that can be an ex. It doesn't have to be. It can be someone from your past reaching out to you um, and wanting to reconnect in some way. Now, this may be someone that you had a... Um, connection with but it never went to a relationship but it could also be someone that you used to work with for example who harbored feelings for you and never really uh told you about that so we're going to go deeper and find out what's going on there for you uh thank you so much for it guys go whoa okay we've got nine of pentacles and they want one more we've got the eight of wands okay so what are they showing me well the first card here is the whip so this is about restraint you may have felt like you've had to control your environment or yourself, your emotions recently. Um, this is a card of um, 
feeling limit, you know, there are limitations or in some way your lifestyle has limited the way um, forward for you to meet love. So for example, you may feel that uh, there's restrictions somewhere in your um, your day to day that prevent you from opening up and finding love. Um, it, you're thinking about it. We got the King of Swords here. King of Swords is a Gemini energy. So you're thinking before you act, but you're holding back at this stage. Um, I feel like you haven't really put yourself fully out there to meet somebody new, but it may be something that you're actually sort of um, trying to manifest. Now, this is a card of conflict, but I feel with this, I mean, it's number 11, which is the Justice card. So the Justice card energy kind of says, the effort that you put in, you will get something out. It's it's a cause and effect energy. It's a win-win solution uh, because you put energy in and you get what you hoped for out of the, the, the bargain, as it were. But I feel like you've been holding back on something or trying to be strict with yourself. Um, now, this could be because you feel there's someone here who is on your mind uh, and you're trying to be res you're trying to restrain yourself or you're trying to be strict with yourself and not think about this person or this situation doesn't mean you want to go back to a past situation or a past person it can mean that you have been somehow influenced by a situation in the past and you don't want to repeat it so I feel like you're being quite controlled, which is unlike you, my beautiful Gemini. Um, I love my the beautiful Geminis in my life. They're so fun to be with, so exciting, so knowledgeable, uh, so witty, and you know, lots of creativity, fun ideas, adventurous spirit. So um, for you to restrain yourself or hold back a little bit, um, it's it would be sad to see, let's put it that way. So, um, but I feel like you have been patient. Now, maybe you're being patient and waiting for the one rather than connecting to like um, flings and things like that. So with the temperance card, this is about a pause um, where you may feel like you're working out what it is you want. You know, the temperance card is about like mixing things up a little bit, working out if you do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, what are you making? Uh, so I feel like this is about you making, you know, making decisions that are based on you not accepting anything less than you truly deserve. This is about you re-examining your priorities in life. And I feel like um, you're gaining a lot of wisdom. Uh, I don't feel like love has been a priority. That's what I'm feeling, especially since this is in the resistance position. It's not that you don't want it. I feel like, um, you know, Either there's some trust issues here because we've got the High Priestess in this position. We've also got the Devil card. So this could have been a, a relationship or a, a, a situation in the past that left a bitter taste in your mouth. Something that you found it difficult to sort of um, release or get freedom from. Uh, whether that's thoughts, thoughts wise or physically tried to get away from something that either was toxic or has chipped away at your confidence and made you feel... feel a, feel a little bit nervous. Every time I went to say feel, I said fear. So, uh, you know, this could have been something that was very, um, very toxic, or it could be that has left you with low self-confidence and, you know, sort of fearing getting out there again, dating. But I feel with the Temperance card, you know, all your anxieties, as long as you follow your heart, it's going to turn to peace. I do feel like you're finding that balance, that harmony in your life, but it's starting with you. So this is your protagonist energy, and I feel like you're focusing on your own personal growth, especially since we've got the alien there, which in this beautiful deck um, is basically the hermit energy. So this is about a time for introspection. This is about a time of wisdom, withdrawal. So you've taken yourself out of the dating scene. You've, you've just gone off grid for a little bit when it comes to that. Not because you don't want to be in a relationship going forward, but I feel like you're having time. Um, no, um, they're just showing me that you may have given yourself an absolute like period of where you're saying, I'm going to be like celibate for a year or something like that. Um, they're just giving me this energy of you taking yourself out uh, in order to find the light within because you may have become a little bit jaded with love. Um, the hermit rarely goes into the cave unless they feel, uh, you know, completely fed up or just like you're so done with the dating scene or trying to find love because it ends up with restrictions in some way. I mean, this this whip card could even... Um, indicate that you've been very patient in the past with people who tried to control you in some way. 
and I feel like you're trying to find that freedom within yourself. This is a card of solitude, being uh, in a single energy, uh, being reflective and sort of not wanting distraction. So you may be focusing on, uh, you know, other things like uh, your own personal growth or uh, leadership because we got a king of swords here. So you could be thinking about, you know, setting up your own business or being an entrepreneur or, you know, you've got high expectations and goals. You're analyzing the next uh sort of part of your journey. Also, the King of Swords is someone who, uh, you know, negotiates deals and things like that. So I feel like you're negotiating your world, working out what it is you want, what it is you certainly do not want. And I feel like you're willing to stay single until such time as that really special person comes along to spark your attention. I feel like you're not really willing to get involved in anything messy that really does not engage your heart. Uh, that's what I feel with this. Um, now, they're they were just showing me an image in the water. Uh, but it's gone, it's it's really clouded, so mm. could you bring it forward, please? I can't quite see. They're actually showing me like someone scattering stars. Scattering stars. It's like a, it's, it's almost like I'm watching someone do a creative project where they've got all these little gold stars and they're just scattering stars. So, I mean, I can't really tell whether that's someone making a wish or it's someone being creative and just scattering stars. So, I mean, maybe, okay. Now they're showing me someone cutting cake. I mean, okay. So either you're cutting cake or this is like someone's birthday and you're decorating a table or you're decorating something or thinking you ha maybe you've got responsibilities to decorate a table for something, maybe even a birthday or something like that. But they're showing me someone cutting cake. So if that's you, I mean, it could be celebration or something. Um, I'll have to leave it like that. Perhaps you are either planning a birthday party or um, you're I mean, you can't, you couldn't possibly be at one currently as you're listening to me. That would just be ridiculous. So um, I can't really work out cutting cake. Uh, maybe you've got an invite to somebody's wedding or something like that. So um, I'm not getting any energy vibes from it. They're just showing me the image. So I can't really relate it to your reading at this stage. So I'll always be honest and say, you know what? I can't get it. So unless it, re uh, it is resonant for you, um, I'm not sure how it resonates with your reading just yet. It may be that the energy pops up later on and I can see an image of you meeting someone at someone's wedding or something like that or a birthday party or some sort of uh, event where there's cake and stars scattered on the table. Okay, so look out for that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to move on. The King of Swords. The King of Swords is someone who thinks, is in their head. Okay, you you value truth, of course. You want someone who's honest, kind, someone who meets you um, halfway in a relationship. You want someone who's reciprocal. I mean, who wouldn't? But the King of Swords is a Gemini energy, and this is about you thinking before you get yourself out there onto the dating scene. So I feel like I mean, you could be talking to somebody new. Uh, I'll pull a card on it, but I really feel like this is about you uh, thinking about your single life um, currently, trying to recalibrate and rebalance yourself. And I feel like you're restricting yourself. You're holding back from the dating scene at this at this moment in time. Again, I have to reiterate, it's not because you don't want somebody. I feel like you're working out the right time for you to be ready to receive love. Okay, so let me just see here for you. Um, now that could either be that you are currently, you've left another situation that was either toxic and you're healing from that, or it can mean that um, you are called to a spiritual path. For example, you may have uh, found your life's purpose and you're like not focused on love right now because you don't want to be, um, you don't want a, a distraction because the, the hermit energy is like, someone who does not want a, a distraction at this time because you're trying to uh, work on your inner truth, your inner wisdom, and sort of find that light that brings you hope again when it comes to love. So let me just see. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify? Ace of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like you're you're contemplating waiting for somebody new, someone who sparks your attraction. Perhaps there's no one that you've um, felt a chemistry with at this moment in time. That's all about to change. The Ace of Wands is a divinely sort of gifted opportunity to meet somebody in the near future. Um, this is like a spark of passion, of chemistry, someone you can visualize uh, a new adventure with. And I feel like this is something that will grow exponentially into something that will um, be a little bit more committed, okay? But I feel like you're thinking about it before you get out there. Yeah, so basically, 
the two of swords says uh you know um you've been a little bit overloaded recently and you're, you're like indecisive as to whether you sort of get yourself out there or not um with the nine of wands um i really feel like um you're not persisting at looking for love at this stage, but I feel like you're working on dropping your barriers so that you can prepare yourself for love. Uh, you're still having faith with this card in the reverse, um, but it's the wounded warrior energy. So I feel like you may have um, sort of taken a step back because you got hurt in a previous circumstance, or you felt like you're always fighting uh, to find love and seek love. And you're like, done. You're waiting until it comes to you. So, um, I mean, because you've taken a step back from the dating scene, I feel like it's coming towards you, especially with that card. Um, and there's going to be someone who sparks your... It's going to be like some chemistry here. Um, now, we've also got number 24. When you reduce it, 2 plus 4 is 6, which is the number of the lover's card, which is, of course, Gemini energy. Uh, this is uh, represents love. So because it's in the resistance position, there's been a bit of a delay, a bit of a blockage. You don't need me to tell you that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening to this reading. But this means uh, for the next five to six weeks, this is the challenge that is going to be overcome. So um, there is going to be love that enters your energetic sphere. And this is someone who feels light, someone who um, is playful energy, someone who um, vibes at the same frequency as you. Um, they're giving me actually, okay. So they give me two letters. <laughs> They haven't given me letters, uh, initials or anything like that for a long time. They give me two letters, which is P and R. P, R. So, I mean, I mean, either this person works in PR or you do, um, or that's their initials or it's your initials. They're just giving me P and R. Maybe uh, when you meet this person and, and if you go out on a first date, uh, the place is called PR or something like that. So, I mean, please take it as it resonates. Um, whenever I get uh, initials, I'm really grateful for all the messages that come my way, but when I get things like just initials, it could be anything. So it feels very sort of like tenuous to really attach it to anything. So, you know, sometimes I dismiss initials because it doesn't really uh, connect to anything at all. It could connect to everything really. Um, but we have love coming on in, okay? But we have an emperor energy coming on in. And uh, the, the signs that we've got so far, we have uh, Sagittarius energy, we've got Virgo, uh, we've got Aries, we've also got Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio, um, and Leo energy on the board at the moment. Now that doesn't mean they're sun, moon, and rising, it can mean that they've got various placements in those sectors in the, their chart. Um, so um, with this, I feel like the High Priestess, I mean, the High Priestess is in the reverse position here, which is about repression of emotions or not trusting your intuition. Um, perhaps you've had an experience in the past where you just don't trust love anymore um, or you don't trust your intuition when it comes to love. So that's why there's been a, a step taken back. Um, the High Priestess will be reactivated is what they're giving me. And this is about you sort of trusting in the unknown. Having, as soon as you meet this new person, it's almost like you have a vision of the future. You see this person, it's really weird what they're giving me in the water, um, but I'll give it to you because this is what they're showing me. When you meet this new person, uh, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy, but when you meet this new person, you're going to get like a flash, it's like an image, and you get to see them older, okay? Older than when you're meeting them now. So for example, if you're, I don't know, 40 and you're meeting somebody and they're about the same age as you, you have like a fast forward flash of this person into their old age or older age. You see this person gray with, uh, you know, um, wrinkles. It's almost like you see, the, you see them in the future. Um, and there's something about this person. Um, when you see that image, it's, you get this feeling of, I can love this person into their old age. I don't know, I really get images or feelings like that, but this is what you will feel and experience when you see this person. There's just gonna be a moment where you just have this image and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? So just be prepared for that. It will take you by surprise. Um, now, I really do feel like, I'm gonna pull a card on this devil card because I feel like there's something here that uh, you've been bonded to for a while, that you felt really helpless to uh, change. 
And it can, I mean, the devil card, I always say this, it's not an evil card. It can be about something controlling you or preventing you from moving forward. But the devil card exists so that we become aware of the blockage so that we can actually smash through that with the tower. The tower is the next card smashing through something that has been, you know, quite restrictive. And as you can see here, you've got restrictions. You're like holding yourself back. And then the star energy, which is light, clarity hope for the future, a uh, wish come true. So you're smashing through something. The devil card in this position is like I got it in the reverse, which tells me you're releasing something that had control over you and you're gaining freedom. So um, whether it is your fear, uh, I'm gonna pull a card and see what it is, whether it's fear or whether it is a past experience, doesn't have to be an ex, it can be, um, it could be something from your upbringing that you witnessed or you feel, um, for example, if you, um, have parents that divorced I mean it can mean that somehow it influenced the way that you look at love or commitment it doesn't have to be but I'm trying to give you an example of uh, something that may have in some way influenced the way you operate within love relationships and it's been um, blocking your path thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide the Hierophant in the reverse now the Hierophant in the reverse is divorce Okay, uh, so either you have separate or it can be separation. Either you separated from someone from a high level commitment that you were in um, and you thought that this was the one and it was either a toxic relationship or very controlling, um, but it's managed to influence the way that you look at love. You've taken a real step back. So this Hierophant, I mean, it can mean um, marriage, for example, uh, you know, ending in divorce, but it can also be that um, you have um, you have a tendency to meet people who try to control you because you're very um, you're very adventurous, you're very exciting to be with, you're very um, independent, and you may find that people try to like pin you down, and they don't respect the energy that um, you come with. They try to change you in some way, and you kind of kick back against that because you know. I always say um, the best love is when you meet each other in the energy that you're in and you automatically sort of influence each other without controlling each other, wanting to be the best, your best self. So when you're with the right person, you instinctively want to be your best self. And so do they. And they, we all step up together. You know, we step up together. So if someone's trying to control you to make you do something that they want, uh, I feel like you really kick back against that energy and you may have experienced it in past situations. So right now, I feel like you're doing you. You've taken a step back. Um, but this devil card, I mean, the Hierophant in the reverse with that devil card, which is in that reverse position because it's in the resistance position, it tells me that you're releasing yourself from something that had a hold, okay? Because the Hierophant in the upright can also be like power, restrictions, um, someone trying to give you rules and regulations. But in the reverse, it's like you're kicking back or rebelling against that and you're done. So you're releasing whatever this is. Now this can also, have, um, because the high priestess is there as well, there could be some sort of trust issues. And it doesn't mean that someone deceived you, but it can mean someone tried to control you or tried to emotionally manipulate you in some way. And you know, you're just a little bit hesitant to get involved with someone going forward. That's all about to change because you're about to meet, uh, we got the emperor there, this is an Aries energy, and this is about you meeting a divine counterpart. But because it's been in the resistance position, it tells me that you may have met people who um, were not ready to settle down or plan for the future, who were immature, maybe even, um, you know, had a big, you know, ha did, hadn't had their ego death. Now, every single one of us has an ego death in this lifetime. And that basically means we all have a bit of a tower moment where we actually um, have a radical change that shocks us and it leaves us kind of like completely shaken for a bit and we rebuild. We rebuild so that we're, we have more empathy, we have more understanding, we are spiritually growing and it informs our character. We become stronger because of it. So I feel the person or people or situations you've met in the past, they haven't quite had their ego death yet. So they may have actually hurt you in ways that they cannot even comprehend. So the emperor, indicates here that you are going to meet a divine counterpart, someone who respects you, someone who plans for the future, someone who wants to invest in a relationship. I mean, when you get this card, this is also about um, someone who has got their SHIT together, someone who's a boss or someone who is in a position of authority, uh, someone who gives good advice, that sort of thing. But I feel like I'm going to pull a quick card on it because the word advice is coming up in the water. 
So either this is someone that you go to for advice um, on something and there is a frizz on between you and this person. Can you please clarify this Emperor card? Okay, uh, Three of Swords. No, they're indicating that somebody uh, hurt you and they were immature. Yeah, so uh, I mean, we've got Mercury Retrograde and we have... Um, as I said, we've got that Six of Cups that has popped up there. Was it the Six of Cups popped up there for you? Um, we do have someone that maybe you thought was the one. Uh, three of Swords, this person hurt you or this situation hurt you. And we've got the, uh, sorry, this, the Three of Swords there. And we've got the Seven of Swords in the reverse, which means someone comes back to make amends. They don't want to run anymore. Now, this reading is about new love, so I don't really want to talk about that. That'll, I'll leave that energy reading for another day. Um, so, But if you want to be with someone from the past, of course... You know, um, we all have free will. You can you can be with this person if you want to be. I'll just pull a quick card uh, for those who want to be with the person in the past. See what energy they're showing up in. Wow. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. Either they've just separated from someone else or they've, they've actually gone through a divorce. Or maybe you divorce this person. King of Wands. I mean, they're still not ready. So... Again, we've got the King of Wands, which is Aries energy. It's in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles. They're showing me that there's still no investment with this. So I would just be a little bit cautious, okay? I mean, as I said, we've all got free will. Uh, but if someone is constantly in and out of your life or trying to build something with you but never really puts the effort in, then you know you deserve better, okay? Um, now, moving on with the singles um, who are not looking for someone from the past. Uh, we've got, if I can get it, uh, we've got... The card of abundance in the Lenormand deck. This is a beautiful deck. There, this is the goldfish. It's, not, it's a clownfish, actually, uh, but it, it's a fish. So this is about abundance. This is about abundance popping out of nowhere. Whenever you see the page of cups, a fish pops out of the cup. It's a surprise. So I feel like there is a change in your love circumstances for the better. There's some good luck coming your way when it comes to uh, love. It's also number 34. When you reduce it, 3 plus 4 is the chariot card, which is about movement forward after obstacles. You finding the motivation, the drive to seek love once more. So um, we also have the full card. So this is about you taking a leap of faith. If you've been feeling restricted, you're stepping out. I feel like you're getting curious, getting yourself out into the world again, recognizing that you have a lot of potential to meet somebody new. You bring so much to the table when it comes to love. You have such a beautiful heart. You're so exciting to be with. You're so fun to be with. I mean, I cannot imagine why anybody would not want to be with you, my beautiful Gemini. Okay. And that's, I'm not being biased because I love my Geminis in my world. Um, I'm, you know, the character traits that you exhibit are, you know, you keep the relationships uh, sparky, alive, exciting, and also, you know, you're a good communicator um, and, you know, there's a lot of depth to you. I love the fact that Geminis love to debate things and things like that. You build solid foundations with the people that you are deeply in love with. I mean, it takes you a while to get into love because you've got that element of duality about you. So you'll always weigh up the pros and cons of, you know, um, being in a relationship and maintaining your independence, um, of course. So it will take you time to commit to something. But once you're all in, you're in. It's a done deal. Okay. So the full card indicates you're getting curious about coming out of a comfort zone. And I feel like there's this playful spirit arising within you. You're going to meet someone who is equally um, fun to be with, like you. It's a lighthearted sort of thing that actually um, becomes something deeper, something more important. Um, also, we got the world card, which means a final destination or, you know, you entering a new cycle of fulfillment. And I feel like you are going to be satisfied with um, the next stage or the next person that comes into your life. The world card is also a card of travel. So some of you are, go are thinking sort of further afield, bigger things. Um, I feel like this person that you meet actually is from a different part of the world from you, actually, um, because we got the King of Swords there in the world, which tells me that uh, this person is international. And I feel um, <clears throat> either you meet this person traveling or it's connected to travel. I definitely feel if you're not taking a vacation, I feel like there's a conversation about travel. And I feel you and this person, when you meet each other, you'll actually book a vacation a weekend away or something like that quite early on in your relationship um, and it's really exciting I feel like you launch yourselves into this not in a 
fast-tracked kind of like love bombing kind of way I feel like it is organic and it is it just feels right okay uh, the world card is also a card of being in the right place at the right time to meet the right person so uh, I feel like this is you coming full circle ending a cycle from the past especially since we have that um, full moon eclipse in Scorpio which is about letting everything go all of the past all of the resentment all of the pain anything that's been holding you back it's released and what's really wonderful about this particular full moon eclipse it gives us such great clarity and focus on what we do want and letting everything that we do not want flow away from our life uh, and unblock ourselves now we've also got the two of pentacles so the two of pentacles is a card of work and play finding that balance okay you've been doing a lot of like multitasking you've got a lot of things going on you're very very busy so this card is uh, again it's about one moment you're like wanting to seek love the next minute you're like no I'm too busy I can't really focus on love right now so there is a bit of an inconsistency with you at some points my beautiful Gemini please don't shoot the messenger that's the energy that's coming up um, but I feel this is also a card of trying to find balance Okay, that being in that rhythm um, of life and making a choice uh, to find balance and harmony um, between work and play. So I feel like you have been working very hard. And if you're retired, for example, you've been focusing on a lot of other things that are keeping your mind active and your body active. And you may not have been getting yourself out there to date, as it were. Um, now, the two of pentacles can also be a choice. So I want to pull a card to see if there is a choice. Um, from what I can see right now, the choice is uh, Six of Cups, which is someone from your past returning. But the Six of Cups kind of tells you, don't live in the past. Leave everything that is in the past. Leave it there. Uh, take the lesson with you, but release it all and leave it all in the past. It's an illusion. It belongs uh, to stay in the past. This is about acknowledging old wounds are being healed. And, you know, uh, it can be, you know, thinking back to the good old days, but there's someone here who does want to reunite with you in some way. It doesn't have to be, as I said, someone who hurt you or was an ex, but there's someone here who does want to you reconnect with you. Let's put it that way. But there's someone new. The Four of Cups says, you know, you may be a little bit fed up with the opportunities that have come towards you in love and you may feel this apathy where you can't even be bothered to look for it anymore um the four of cups basically um there is like a sign it's almost like an omen that you see i would like them to please spirit could you give me the sign or the omen that my beautiful gemini will notice before um okay now what they're showing me is they're showing me a it's like that electric lighting and it's nine nine and then it kind of loops out nine nine it's almost like this golden sort of electric lighting and it's nine nine and then it kind of loops out so I don't know if that's a sign it may be uh, some sort of sign on a billboard or a sign on a shop it's electric lighting um, I don't really, um, that's all I can call it. I'm not sure if there's a, an actual word for it. I'm sure there is. Um, and it's got 9-9 nine, nine on it. So anyway, that's all they're showing me in the water right now. Uh, so this could be potentially the two opportunities. But let me just have a look. Uh, I want to clarify that two of pentacles for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please clarify the two of pentacles along with the six of cups and the four of cups for my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Wheel of Fortune in the reverse the magician in the upright thank you so much spirit guides for angels can you please guide nine of pentacles in the reverse and finally we've got the three of swords um i have to go one more it's, it's rare that i'll say i will go one more okay there is one person you're not going to give love to um, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse tells me that you've been feeling stuck in a rut. You've been feeling that fate has left you out and you may have felt like you've had bad luck when it comes to love. This is also a card of resistance. You feel like 
love's not coming for you so there's no point in even looking for it but the magician tells me that you've got everything you need um, you need to have confidence but also this is a card of taking action so for example putting yourself in a scenario to meet new people I know it's easier said than done uh, a lot of people are shy or don't have the resources or the a support network to get out there but I feel like you're doing something for you I'll see where you meet this person but I feel like they're put on your path this is a new person this new person is put on your path for a reason and I feel like it's a spiritual reason so I want to clarify that but then there is something um, there is chemistry between you and this new person but the magician indicates uh, what you think about you bring about so I feel like um, if you're thinking about the past then you're going to magnetize the past towards you. If your focus is actually on the new, then that's what is coming towards you. Either way, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse tells me two things. One, you won't be single for long. Number two, you're really focused on work. There's a lot of workaholism in your energy or your focus is like not, your focus is on, um, how can I put that? Your focus is on, um, not finding love I, I just feel like when you're not looking for love all of a sudden it's just showing up for you uh, we've got the three of swords in the reverse so healing from some sort of hurt or sadness whether you have been broken up from someone for 20 years or whether you've been broken up with someone for six months um, heartbreak takes a long time to heal so it doesn't matter if it's still somehow influencing how you operate in relationships or the decisions you make when it comes to love and you're guarded um, there's something there to be processed and let go of okay the three swords can also mean that someone who hurt you comes to give an apology or tries to make amends so I would watch out for that in that mercury retrograde the knight of cups indicates you're not giving to love at this time okay um, so I feel you've withdrawn this is also having like uh, dealt with people who have unrealistic expectations so I feel this is connected to the person from the past they would have unrealistic expectations and you feel that they are not your destiny that's what I feel from these I feel like you're manifesting something new now we do have the five of cups which means you're letting go of something so that's really positive uh, I've talked about the six of cups some are returning um, but the five of cups indicates you're allowing yourself to grieve something something that you've decided you know no longer needs to be in your life you're letting go okay five of cups is also a card of um, feeling that it's been difficult to find love or you perhaps feel like there's been a shortage of options when it comes to love but uh, there's someone here that you're not even aware of okay um, the, the, the five of cups tends to be that there's three cups that are spilt on the floor and two cups upright and the figure does not see that so as you can see that eye there there's there is a relationship on the horizon that you're not even aware of in your energetic sphere right now okay so I feel like because you've been disappointed in love you've self-sacrificed yourself by taking yourself out of the dating game and just when you least expect it if you just change your perspective um, and not focus on the past at all um, I feel like you're about to meet somebody new now a lot of you are gonna be screaming at the screen right now saying Baba I'm not focused on the past at all you keep bringing it up I'm the one who I'm I gotta read the cards and I've got to read the energy so some of you out there are going to be thinking about the past and some are definitely not so because I have so much energy coming through I have to mention both just so that I get you all as much as I can of course um, if there's only if there's no energy from the past I won't mention it so just so you're aware now we've also got five of Pentacles the five of Pentacles is a card of um, again it's like letting go of things uh, feeling like there is a deficiency uh, in terms of options like there's there's nothing going on there's nobody out there and you just have a longing to meet somebody but it's it's not something that you're physically going after at this time um, you may have felt a little bit left out in the cold from the universe but the universe has got your back your last card in this particular line of the spread 
is the four of cups, which means suddenly a new option comes in. Suddenly, uh, you know, you've been feeling really unfulfilled and you've been feeling that there's been nobody. The universe brings a gift in. The four of cups is a, you know, a surprise that actually meets your expectations when it comes to love. So if you've been disappointed or you're bored with the options or you've been discouraged in love, that's all about to change because there is a revival of your spirits when it comes to love. I feel like you're being given a helping hand. Um, there is an intervention here. Now, um, I feel with this May, pretty much, I don't feel like you're connecting to somebody new until June. That's what I get. Uh, but we will clarify. The Seven of Pentacles is about you looking at how much effort you put into relationships and how much you get out. I feel like you're being really discerning about your energy. You're seeing your value. You're building healthy boundaries, strong self-esteem. And I feel like you're actually um, not giving too much of yourself unless the other person gives. So I feel like you're matching people's effort from now on. That's not just in love. That's in relationships, friendships, uh, career, across the board. I really feel like you're being discerning about the energy. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is also a card of evaluation. If you're feeling dissatisfied with love right now, I feel like you put yourself in a scenario to meet somebody new or meet new people. And in that group or in that event, I feel like you meet somebody new, okay? Uh, this is a card also of um, finding an alternative way of um, meeting somebody or reflecting on your progress in terms of relationships. So you may look back briefly in order to think about the past and what you will not repeat. You take the lesson with you and you sort of grow because of it. The Four of Swords tells me that you, uh, you know, towards May into the beginning of June, you're in a solitary energy meditating on what you want. You're gaining closure to the past. You may even withdraw a little bit towards the end of the month, um, the end of the month of May, let's put it that way. And I feel like this is about you sort of retreating and renewing your energy. So Four of Swords is another solitary energy. I'll, I can only give you what I see, my beautiful Gemini. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is, again, a self-sufficient energy. Um, it is a single energy. You won't be single for long, but I feel May uh, into June is kind of like preparing yourself to meet somebody. Um, this card is about enjoying your singledom. Uh, it's about, you know, uh, you uh, bossing up financially, working really hard, gaining financially, uh, living or trying to... Uh, attain a life of luxury. It's also a card of being disciplined, being sort of like, um, I don't want to say self-centered because it's not that. It's more that your focus is on you um, as you um, value yourself. That's what I kind of get. So I feel your energy is on you, which is a perfect energy to be in because we have to fill that cup of love for ourselves first before we meet somebody new. Okay, just so you're aware, uh, we've got to have in that cup love, self-respect, uh, care, healthy boundaries, all of those things to exchange with another person because you exchange cups, you exchange energies. And if you, you tend to meet someone who's on the same frequency as you, so if you have got codependency, addiction, insecurity in that cup, then you're actually going to attract someone with a similar energy and you exchange cups and you drink from their cup and they drink from yours. So uh, it's about an energetic exchange. Um, we've got an eight of wands, which means everything changes. There are quick changes and that happens mid June. Okay. So, uh, I feel, um, in for the next four to five weeks, I do feel like you're in a solitary energy, gaining wisdom, uh, putting your own needs first, enjoying who you are, feeling comfortable in your own skin. And then everything changes. And then you meet somebody new. The Eight of Wands, either, again, Eight of Wands and the World card, they're both travel cards. So either you've booked some sort of travel or there's some sort of event that you travel to that's a little bit out of the way because this can be a short trip. The world is a bigger trip. The world is like, uh, it can be emigration, thinking about moving uh, for your job or for um, just moving home to another part of the world. Um, but I feel like there's definitely some sort of, journey of discovery and round about mid-June I feel like you move forward on it things start to pick up pace so I'm just going to find out what picks up pace because the eight of wands tends to mean news comes in or there is messaging so I feel like you start to receive messages from somebody new so let me just clarify that before I close your reading uh, I know that I'm reading for um 
mid-May to mid-June, but let me just see what's past mid-June to see what's going on there for you. Can you please show me past mid-June for my beautiful Gemini? So Knight of Swords in the reverse indicates no action on your behalf. And the Queen of Cups tells me that it's all about self-care for you. Okay, and pass that, please. Three of Pentacles. The Devil card. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Green Eagles. Can you please guide? The Magician card. Oh, how many is that? They want. They want seven. I don't know why they want seven. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? We got the Emperor. So there's definitely someone. Now this person may be a little bit more, a little bit older than you. Certainly mature uh, person. Uh, someone who knows what they want. The Emperor is coming on in. Um, I mean, the Three of Pentacles is in the reverse. We got the Death card. Change. So that is seven. You know, I want to clarify that for myself. So um, because. They're kind of just giving me the same energy. They're not showing me past mid-June. They're showing me that Knight of Swords indicates you're not thinking about love. You're not getting out there. You're not taking action. Queen of Cups, you're self-caring. Uh, you're actually, uh, you know, self-loving, healing. Perhaps uh, you're feeling comfortable in your own skin. Three of Pentacles in the reverse indicates um, you do not support with the Devil card. You do not support um, the... You don't want to collaborate with somebody who is addictive or tempting or feels like, you know, it's like a moth to a flame, this person. There's a lot of passion, a lot of temptation, but I feel like you would, you resist this. The Magician card uh, in the reverse indicates um, even though there's unfulfilled potential, you're waiting for a divine counterpart with the Emperor. And the, the Death card signals change and transformation. Um, but can you please clarify the, the Change card transformation? Three of Pentacles in the reverse again. The Empress. Six of Wands. Okay. So the Empress in the reverse is all about resistance. It is, it, it's like, how can I put that? It's like, because of some sort of either lack of confidence or feeling like you're not ready, um, there is a resistance to, um, or an indecisiveness as to whether you want to connect um, with anybody right now. Uh, three of Pentacles, again, in the reverse, is basically like you don't want to invest in, you don't want to invest in building anything with anybody at this time. Um, and the Five of Pentacles here in the reverse does indicate that someone returns. So I feel like it, it, they're trying to indicate that someone is returning. And then it's, it's almost like giving me a timeline. Okay, a timeline of events. And that Six of Wands tells me that there is good news, good fortune. There's like someone is going to sort of raise you up on a bit of a pedestal. I'd be mindful of that. Um, now, either you, there's something going on within your workspace and you're going to be, um, you're going to get some sort of, um, success coming on in they're trying to give me a timeline I almost want to say it's like from mid-June onwards um, this is where you meet somebody new there is an offer of love coming on in can you please show me where give me a date or give me some energy that lets me know they're just showing me someone cutting cutting a cake again so um, I mean, it could be around your birthday, for example, because, of course, uh, mid-May, well, the end of May, really, to uh, sort of nearly the end of June, uh, is your sign. It's birthday. Um, so, I mean, either this is you meet someone um, at your own birthday celebration, perhaps someone brings a friend, or you go... You book something and it's at a public place and you meet somebody around your birthday. Um, the, the birthday cake seems, well, it's, it's a cake basically with icing on it. So it seems to be um, something that is relevant to some sort of birthday celebration or wedding celebration because the stars are being scattered on the table. They just keep showing this to me and the cake being cut. So it's an event that has some sort of cake cutting thing going on there. 
um, and that's where you meet this person. I feel like it is like it's more June side. That's what I'm getting. Um, and we've got the Ace of Cups. So the love is coming on in. Um, it's almost like they're showing me someone being celebrated. And at this event or something, there is an offer of love. Now, I want to say this person's got strong water in their chart, but also strong fire in their chart as well. I feel they've got strong Aries in their chart. Um, with Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, oh, I wanted to, I was going to go and uh, pull another card, but my guys just said, leave it there. So leave it there. Okay. Um, all that they're giving me about this person is that they're a very playful spirit, uh, that they are, um, I mean, I feel like I mean, they may be older than you, but in terms of their open heartedness and their playfulness, they seem younger. And there's something about this person. They look younger than they are is what they're showing me. Um, and they're not showing me. Well, they're showing me like this. They're showing me also with the golden stars. They're showing me a golden cube. So weird. Um, this golden cube is hollow. You can see through this cube. It's just a golden cube. So I'm going to have to leave it there. If I cannot connect it, I'll give you the image. I'll tell you about it because it won't go away in the water until I mention it. But I'm not really sure how it resonates with your reading. Okay, so uh, either it's something that you can see right now or it is something that you will see when you meet this new person. It's a signifier. They just said it's a signifier. So these are signifier images for where you will meet this new person. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? Uh, what are they meant to see for their highest good? Can you please guide them? Blockages, obstruction, barricade. We've got fire. We've got self-care, me time. Uh, they want one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What are they meant to see? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to know? Um, okay. And we've got gathering community partnerships. So yeah, it's at some sort of event or gathering where there is a cake cut. Okay. Um, so we've got blockages, obstructions, barricade. So I feel like this is you. You've like gone off grid, not focusing on love uh, in order to process emotions. And you've been going through a real sort of test of faith and a bit of a rite of passage where you're gaining greater wisdom about who you are and what you want. And it will truly bring you what you need. Uh, we've also got fire, combative, feisty, excitable. Life is forged where there has been destruction. Okay, so that means there's been a radical change in your life. You've ended something and now you're making space adjustments for something new. Uh, in the water, they're also showing me fireworks. So either this event brings fireworks or it's a celebration. Um, that you get invited to, um, and this is where you meet the new person, okay? Um, I would even watch out to see if there's fireworks at this event uh, as well. We've got self-care, home comforts, me time. So that's you focusing on you. That's the majority energy I've got for you for the next couple of weeks. But then there is this, the gathering, uh, gathering community partnerships, people coming together. Um, yeah, I mean, look, there's little stars here as well. And it's, it's like an event or something that you get invited to where people celebrate for something. So, um, and that's where you meet this person, this new person, okay? So I'll get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Oh, they only want one. We got the hands of hand, which is all about protection, okay? So I feel like you're being redirected to a new path where you meet somebody new. Uh, also, this is a signifier as well, they're indicating. So either... Um, where you meet this person, there will be a Hamza hand, or you are wearing a Hamza hand necklace, or they are, or there's they have a symbol of it, like tattooed or something like that. This symbol will pop up. Okay, uh, this symbol will pop up, so watch out for that as well, a Hamza hand. Uh, they actually want it. Wow. They want it on the Ace of Cups. They said put it on the hand on the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, there's a, an offering. Uh, a love that is protective, kind, peaceful. Um, I feel like this is a relationship that will go the distance, that will lead to a higher level of commitment. 
Um, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. This one was quite complex. Um, I feel like the energy where you meet this person, it's a little bit closer to like mid-June, July energy. So I feel like it's very distant, but I, I tried my best to see if I could connect to it for you, um, just so you're aware. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. I hope something resonated. Um, if it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me too, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Gemini. Love and light.